Think of all the things that just scream America. America. Apple pie, diabetes, sticky baseballs, and doing whatever the hell you want. Americans love options, even when it flies in nature's face. Take my video on weird ass football fields. Yeah, grass is not red. And here's where I bring it all together because in America we love baseball and apparently coloring our baseball fields. Yeah, this is happening. Baseball fields with weird ass colors is coming up right after this. First off, I want to thank my buddy Coach Kowalski for sending me one of the ballparks on this list. And also, there are a couple softball fields here too. Let's get into it. If you saw my video on odd colored football fields, you know that Boise State actually trademarked different color football fields and will likely sue me at some point. Apparently that trademark extends to any artificial turf that isn't green. And Parish Episcopal, a high school in Dallas, Texas, had to get permission from Boise State to color their baseball field blue. Unfreaking believable. Well, this is certainly interesting. The University of Northwestern Ohio chose only to make their synthetic infield red and the rest of the field be grass, which I suppose is better than all dirt. But still, this hurts my eyes in amazing ways. Interestingly enough, the racers also offer athletics in the form of co-ed stock car racing, which makes me wonder why the infield wasn't made a checkered flag instead. Either way, props for being unique, I guess. This is actually a really nice softball field, and I'm not lying about that. Uh, you, you're here? You're still here. Apparently, the color is a deep navy blue for the infield, but from the air, it kind of looks darker than that. The Texas A&M Commerce Lions have been around since 1888, but I've never heard of them until today. But like I said, they built this really nice, probably very hot in the summertime field that does indeed look kind of cool. This installation is so fresh, it's not even on Google Maps, but it's okay, we have Google. And oh my God, this would have made my weirdest and worst ballparks video they just glued on the softball field to the existing soccer slash football field. And there you go. If I'm ever elected to Congress, I will introduce legislation banning the practice of smashing athletic fields together like they are in a large hadron collider. Did anybody think this was a good idea? Here's a little example of before and after. Here is Edison's field before which is a hideous dimensional abomination. And here it is after the same dimensional nightmare, but now red. Apparently the $1.34 million turf installation didn't cost the taxpayers any more money as the funding was taken from an already existing reserve fund. I wonder how much they paid extra for the ultra red sheen. This is so bright. And finally, we have my favorite field with weird ass colors. This is certainly a nice field where they hold the Texas State Softball Championships and the black and blue turf looks pretty kick-ass. Home of the Sweeney High School Lady Dog. Wait, is there another word for Lady Dog? Biatch. The alternate turf color was installed in 2015. Not sure if I would go with black for a turf color in a state known for super hot sunlight, but then again, maybe I'm just being a lady dog about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a second, let me tell you about the coffee company I partnered with, Benchwarmer Brew, which delivers you extra flavor from my own custom blend, which I didn't have to ask Boise State permission to use. It's a light roast, so that means there's more caffeine and it is legit good coffee. You can get some from the link below. Plus, if you subscribe because you know how much coffee you drink, you can save money by having it delivered more frequently. Again, check it out from the link below and stay awake, my friends. I'm Five Points Vids, and you made it to my next video.